Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Emily. And we're from leahgriffith.com. And today I'm going to teach you guys and you five really simple ways to add ribbon to your gift boxes for the holidays. I have my boxes wrapped in pretty gift wrap, and then I have this beautiful basket of printed ribbons, and these are from our friends at Ribbon by Design, and as you can see, there's so many different colors and styles that we can pick from. They're all printed on one side, which I will show you the trick of how to use a one-sided ribbon as well. Then I have some sharp scissors that will cut ribbon nicely, and we can get started. For the first technique, I'm just going to use the ribbon across the box with a bow on top. So this is the most important one to watch because I am going to show you how to tie that bow and make it go the direction that you want it to. I'm using a really thick ribbon just to show you, and it is one-sided, which I'll show you the tips on how to use that. I will make sure that I have four widths. Now, if you have a, a box that's taller, you'll want to make sure and go from bottom edge to bottom edge and measure four widths of your box. And did you cut these just straight across? Or are you For doing... now, okay. I'll show you a fancy cut later. All right. Okay, now I'm going to, you can see the ribbon on the one side and I'm going to go ahead and line that up and center it just like that. And the first thing you'll do is tie a simple knot. And you can see how I'm twisting the ribbon so that I always see the printed side up. Just tie a simple knot. You'll have one side going one way and one side going the other way. Is this enough? Yep, that should work. Okay, so here is the number one tip to make a straight ribbon. So you can see that I have my ends. One comes out the bottom and one comes out the top. I always start my loop with the bottom ribbon. So I'll make a loop with and hold it with my thumb and then I'll grab it, I'll pinch it at the base with my other hand. Now, I call this my top ribbon because it's going off the top of my box. I'm actually gonna rotate that ribbon so that I see the white. I'll bring it over the top, over the top of my loop, not underneath. I'll show you what happens later when you go underneath. So over the top. Now I have my one loop pinched in my fingers and then I have this little hole, this little space where I've wrapped my ribbon around. I'm going to tuck the rest of that ribbon right through that hole. And you can see how I kind of twisted it so that you can only see the print as it comes out. The last part of my ribbon, I'm just kind of twisting it around so that you can't see the white and then making that tight. And then you can adjust. You can pull it, make your loops longer if you want to. You can pull them to make them shorter. Look how perfectly that worked. It does. And if you want a longer ends, you can actually do six across. You can do a little bit longer. Mine are longer because I have a bigger box. The next trick is I'm going to take the ends and fold them. And then this is the open end and this is the folded end. And I'll cut it at an angle upwards towards the fold. And there we have a pretty little point. Cute. Do that on both sides. And then I wanna show you guys how to tie a, whoops, this way. See, I sometimes I forget to. If you cut it the wrong way, no problem. Just cut it again. It's almost like I'm a professional. That looks so good. I'm gonna show you what happens when you loop it the other direction and sometimes you might want that. So we'll go ahead and measure out our ribbon. I want it longer, so I'll go ahead and do five lengths. And we'll wrap it around the box. I have a lot of ribbon this time. Okay, so we have our top here. Now, you might tie it the other way, so the top's on your left hand, or you might have it so your top's on your right hand. It doesn't matter. If you start with the bottom and then go over the top, it will always be straight along your ribbon. If you want it to go the other way, you then wrap it around the bottom, which to me is really hard to do because I'm so used to the top over top. <laughs> I have to kind of think about it here. And then tuck it through. And what that does is it makes your ribbon go the other direction. 
and that looks pretty too. And I like how you always move around your ribbon ends a bit. Like you don't leave them where they land. You'll end up just pulling them both towards the bottom and it totally works. Yeah, you can just kind of adjust them a bit, kind of pull them back and forth. I think that, you know, people sometimes get nervous putting ribbon on their boxes. They think it's a little overwhelming, but it's really quite simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold those and make some pretty tips. The third style of ribbon that we're going to do for our box is to make an X. I call it a Tiffany style bow. The first thing I'll do is I'll gather a ribbon so I know I have enough for a strand for the end and then a loop. So I know that's gonna, going to be enough. I'll grab my ribbon and I'll place my thumb right on the center of the box. If you want to, you could actually tape it there. Oh, I see. So you measure your loop and strand before you even go around. Yes. So I just have this piece here, it's my tail. Now, I'm going to want to keep this point right here on the box. So I'll, this is really hard with the big box. So I'm going to loop it all the way around one direction. And I still have my finger here on the center. Yep. And then I will change directions with my longer strand and turn the corner. And then bring it around again. Now the reason why we're doing this is so that we can have our twist on the top rather than the bottom of the box and then the box will lay nice and flat. So here you've got two thirds of a turn and then a loose tail. Yeah, so the loose tail now, I'm going to, you can see how I'm holding my first strand right here. I'm going to take that and stick it right through that corner and then back out towards where it came from. So now I have the ribbons twisted around each other and they actually stay in place pretty well. The fun thing about doing this style, it really doesn't matter which way your bow goes. So you can just go whatever feels natural. Of course, as I'm flipping it through, I keep rotating my ribbon so that I get the printed side on the outside. And it's okay if the white shows as well, it's pretty. And I really do like it that the, my bow sits a little bit sideways with this style of ribbon. That looks beautiful. So we can finish off our ends. You can either do an angle cut. I'm gonna do angles this time since it's a smaller ribbon. Or you can do the V cut. Look how good this looks. I love this for little tiny jewelry boxes. Maybe that's why it's called the Tiffany style bow. Makes sense. Because that way, if a little tiny box has the bulk on the bottom, it tends to tip over. Yeah, and this, this one's nice and flat on the bottom, which is a good, good way to do it. I've only ever done this one where you cross it at the back. The next style of ribbon is actually one of your grandma's favorites, which was my mom. And we're gonna take our box and turn it at an angle. I have the left corner facing up the top and I'll make sure I have enough ribbon to make my loop and then my strand. And again, place my thumb right there on the corner and then I'll bring the ribbon down and cross over the lower left corner, cross it over the top on the lower right corner we're gonna go behind on the upper right corner and then back around again. And how do you get it to stay in place? And not slide off the corner? Yeah. Yeah, you just have to give it a bit more ribbon. What does the back ribbon. look like? So there, there you go. You're missing all the corners. So what you'll wanna try, and, <laughs> this is awesome. What you'll wanna try and do is make sure the ribbon goes around each corner. So front, back, front, back. Think of that. So yes, there you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes, I see. <laughs> and at this point, uh, to make it easier, I'll go ahead and cut my ribbon. And then I'll tie a knot right there at the top. It looks like your top is at your bottom and that's okay. Actually, not. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go again. So I start at the top, top left corner. I go over the top and then behind underneath the left corner, over the bottom right corner and under 
the top right corner and then back up to the top. So each side has this little, the look of just kind of a crisscross over the corner. Took me a second to get it, but now that I've got it, <laughs> you will never forget. I'll never forget it. <laughs> okay, in this case, I do want to make my bow nice and straight. So I have my top ribbon and I have my bottom ribbon. I'll loop my bottom ribbon and then I'll wrap it towards my hand, which I'm saying is over the top, doing a quick twist and then tucking back, that back under right between my loop and where my fingers are pinching. And that way my ribbon will align, my bow will align with the ribbon on the box. And then you just kind of go back and forth, adjust it, kind of twist it around if it needs to come. So you can see the print, the pretty print of these cute deer. And there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and do the, the nice little V cut on these. One of the reasons I like this one, this bow, if you have a pretty gift tag or even a flower, something that you want to put on, you can just tuck it right here. There's a nice space in the center. Yeah. That's a lovely combination over there. Isn't that pretty? Oops, I did my V cut backwards. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> and if you do it backwards, that's okay. Just do it again. Nope, this way. And there we go. Cute. That looks very smart, very handsome. Uh, yes. Yeah. And you can, you can use it vertical or horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> The last style of tying a ribbon is really fun. So we're gonna do this one together. Super simple, I'm just going to cut enough ribbon to tie around my box, and I'm gonna do this, you know, the long way. And I'm actually just going to make a square knot. And if you don't do a square knot, it's crooked, that's okay, because we're gonna hide it. So this won't, none of this will show when we're done. But because I am me, I will make sure that the print is up. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it at an angle. So that's ready for that. Now we have one little tiny piece of wire. You can actually cut that in half if you want to. Okay. We're going to use just a lightweight, this is a 24 gauge wire. You can use any type of wire and it's about six inches long. It could be four inches if you want to. All right, let me see your fingers. I want you to go like this. Maybe I should do this. Maybe pinch this with your thumb. There we go. And we'll do one, two, three. I'll do five. Now grab it in the middle and cut. And then you take the wire and we'll twist it. Around the middle? Around the middle. I'll just crunch and twist it and make it as tight as possible. Okay, you can just give it a twist on the top, like this. Now, we'll take all the ends and start pulling them out. And I like to pull and twist here, you can do that other side. This is how you make a nice big fluffy ribbon. And you're just twisting them so they don't go back together. Yeah, I'm just twisting them to kind of keep them in place. And the ends, just cut them at an angle. You can do a V cut if you want to. And I'm trying to make the ends about the same length. And then taking that wire, we'll go ahead and wire that right onto the center. So even though we've wrapped the wire around the base, to make it a little bit prettier, I'll cut one more piece of ribbon and I'll kind of fold it in the middle so it's easier to bunch. And that makes it look nice and finished. And again, just make sure that all your ends are about the same length. So here you go, happy holidays. Thank you. I think you've already given me a wonderful gift though, the gift of learning how to tie all these beautiful bows. And if you're interested in learning any other crafts with Ribbon by Design, we have a Swedish woven heart and a woven ribbon Easter basket over on our site. Ooh. Just follow the links below. And come on over and join us for more crafting at leahgriffith.com. We'll see you there.